who rely on you. And you have to actually have some kind of special talents. Uh, you diverse interests. You end up meeting a lot of people that you wouldn't normally know. And getting into things that are a lot outside your comfort zone. Uh, again, it's a long-term commitment. You have to really commit yourself. And it goes if you don't drive. When I was in high school, I didn't drive yet. So I was like, sophomore year, I had to get my mom driving around everywhere. So you have to deal with like the embarrassment of your mom driving you around and to commit to that. <laughs> And you can really contribute, so a lot of people do rely on you. Usually you have to you have to contribute a part of yourself. Like if you're on a team, you have to you have to practice. You have to be in some kind of good shape. If you're in arts, like theater, you have to know the lines so the other person can go off their lines, but then you forget your lines, and the other person starts saying their lines, and then you guys have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, it's really good for your self-esteem. Honestly, it really wasn't good for mine, because I ran track and I sucked. I mean, I like majorly suck. Like one time I did the hurdles. I made varsity, but that was because nobody wanted to run the two miles. And I was like, okay, I won't get varsity, I'll run it. And so literally, I really was laughed. Like I got over laughed doing it. That did not help my self esteem. But the people who were making first place, I'm sure it helped their self esteem to over laugh me. So I did get a medal though. One time our track beat got rained out, and my coach said, if you just run it, and I had to run it by myself, look at a medal. So I was like, all right. I read this and it's totally framed in my room and I don't care. I don't tell anybody else I was going to be running. But they're like, you got a track trophy? Yeah, I did. <laughs> There's like 20 other girls running behind me. Yeah, you did. So, you build solid relationships. A lot of people really liked the track because it did suck and I didn't care. So, I got to meet a lot of good friends and I still have them all on my Facebook. So, that was the only really extracurricular I did. Uh, it's good on college applications. I do. No, that looks really good that I wasn't part of score. I really wasn't part of many other ones, but I know that it's, I'm kind of regretting not doing that now. Um, but there is a, there, there's a lot of things about extracurricular because it can be too much. Sometimes you overtake so much on you that you end up failing in your classes or you just get over your head or there's problems. You have to really find a good balance between extracurricular activities. And there's a lot more activities rather than just being an athlete, like I was. There's arts, there's a lot of performing arts. I actually, oh, you know what? I was in another extracurricular activity. <laughs> I totally was. It was in drama, and like, I did makeup, but I really sucked at that too, so I got kind of booted. Like, they didn't say in so many words, but then, like, when I pick up makeup, they would be like, we're just going to take that from you. <laughs> Thank you for helping, though. And then I tried out for a play, and then. I didn't even make the chorus, so I was like, you know what, drama's not for me. Again, didn't really boost my self-esteem, but the other people, when they saw me trying to perform, and they were like, wow, I'm way better. And they got a lot more self-esteem off of me. So, but if looking at performing arts, I'm not a really big person, I'm a math major. And, but for me, I'm not a math major, I love performing arts. Yes. I've been in performing arts since I was 13 years old. I first started out in band playing the clarinet. And when I was 14 years old, I joined chorus. And it has, it did so, being in band and chorus and all the performances I did and the people I got to meet, it also did so much to help me out as a person. It encouraged me personally to stay in school. I had so many school problems, depression, anxiety, all that stuff, and music just helped make those, okay, if you go to school for anything, just go for the music and suck it up for everything else. Hmm. Music also gave me a bit of a sense of teamwork. Because of course you have the other people in your section, you have the other, you have the other sections as a whole, and they all have to work together to create that simply divine, beautiful, wonderful sound. You can't just do it if one person is like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna play this note wrong or play this, because that could set the whole chord off. Like I said, it encouraged discipline. I realize now, I'm not very disciplined. I hated to practice the clarinet, and as soon as I got out of high school, I said, 
I'm done. I'm not playing the clarinet anymore. I'm tired. Better grades. Um, it's pretty sure other people would have had better grades than me, than, than it, music would have helped. Mm, not so much. Really not so much. Better student behavior? Of course it did. It had to give me a reason to stay in school. And it gave me a sense of, it gave me a lot of other things. Self-expression. I could express myself through music. I could, I could, I could take a song and I could put it to a, uh, I could put that song to an emotional feeling. I could bring out the feeling in a piece related to a past experience. Thank you. 